Hey everyone, Dave back with you today with a fresh smart watch review. This time we have the KS01 blood glucose monitoring smartwatch that does blood pressure, heart rate, body temperature, blood oxygen, tracks your sleep, gives you the weather. Uh, it's got some n neat other features. It'll track workouts, the pedometer. Uh, you can get notifications from your phone. And this one also has NFC access. So that's pretty cool. If you've never seen one of my reviews, then I'll tell you right now what I'm going to do is open this up, show you what comes out of the box, then go charge it up and wear it for several days and get to know it, get to learn it, and then come back and uh, give you my my full fair and honest thoughts um i paid for this watch with my own money and that can only happen if you like this video share this video subscribe uh, because any revenue i earn from youtube gets invested right back into this channel uh, for more gadgets and smart watches so you get the instruction manual you get a, a a screen cover with some alcohol wipes to apply that it's got the charging cable and this is going to be a uh, magnetic charger on this end and that should probably snap right onto the back of the watch uh, thusly and then the other end would plug into a USB charging brick it has one button on here let me press it see if it has any juice out of the box and um, yeah it comes on nice, oh, nice big display I kind of like that so stay tuned and uh, this one will be coming to you soon alright so I've been wearing this watch for several days I just want to run you through the main features here I didn't think I was gonna like this form factor but it turns out I do even though it's rectangular with kind of it seems like maybe pointed edges they have not gotten in the way of any clothing or anything like that and I actually like the nice big display that's just me so we scroll from right to left, you get your pedometer, your count, uh, step count for the day, your miles, I went for a hike after work, says total 6.8 miles, your estimated kilocalorie burn, it does your heart rate in real time. I find this to be credible, um, it's, I think it's pretty solid for the continuous heart rate, it does blood pressure, again I find this to be really credible, does the blood glucose monitoring test and I'm gonna do a little video and compare this to an actual blood glucometer test you guys have been clamoring for this so I'm gonna show it to you and talk about it more when we in the next section and when we get into the app here's the blood oxygen saturation again I this is a very credible measurement um, I like it it seems to be accurate compared with every other you know blood oxygen saturation watch I've ever worn it's right in line with the best of them and I'll just let this go in real time um, and it'll come up with a number 97 percent it will take your skin temperature and then calculate a body temperature again this is right in line with everything I know from other watches and, and thermometers it measures your sleep, does automatic sleep tracking. It will pull in the weather from your smartphone. There's today and tomorrow. All right. And if you scroll from bottom up, it will give you your notifications. That works well. I deleted all my private messages for the sake of this video. If you scroll down, there are various brightness settings. Um, I have it under the next to the highest. I find even the lowest is bright enough. I just turned it up for this review a bit and you can set how long the screen stays on. I usually set that to five seconds to save battery life. Um, you can get into your various settings here. There's your screen and display, health monitor, uh, switch. Uh, you can do movement reminder or turn, uh, lift your wrist to wake the watch up. I always turn that off, again, to save battery life. Date and time, menu style, you can have more of an icon type uh, style, language, H-band system. You can power it off or erase data. These two little buttons uh, I find very close together, but fear not, if you go to power off, it asks you to confirm that. So you're not going to erase your data by accident, most likely. Those are the functions on the watch. Let's go look at the app, then I'll come back with my bottom line. Okay, so we got blood on the test strip here, and I'm going to insert it into the device. And this will take its reading here. Seventy-five. So there you have two numbers. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not going to tell you whether to trust anything, but you see how different these two numbers are. Presumably, in my mind, this is why you should never trust a non-invasive blood glucose monitoring smartwatch these numbers are very different there you go and the app is the old familiar H-band uh, app that I've reviewed numerous times with various watches 
Uh, there's your pedometer, your sleep tracking, and you can go back and look over the days and weeks if you want to. It does a pretty credible job in my opinion. Here's your continuous heart rate. Again, it gives you your maximum, your minimum, your average. I find my minimum resting heart rate to be pretty good. That's I'm usually somewhere between 52 and 54, so this is right in there. Um, and you can set these uh, the, the intervals. This does not do EKG, all right? Blood oxygen saturation, as I just talked about, you can go back over time and you know it gives you some ranges and lets you know whether you're normal or not. Respiratory rate, I'm always pretty low, but I think maybe that's what makes me a fairly decent uh, amateur athlete is uh, because of that relatively low respiratory rate. I don't know. Cardiac load, um, hypoxia, it'll, if you are not getting oxygen when you sleep, it'll let you know. Um, so I like that, and I love HRV. This is really good. I think anybody should be interested in this watch, maybe just for this and the continuous heart rate, but it gives you your HRV value. That's your heart rate variability and it puts you in a range and lets you know whether you're normal or if you're under stress. The Lorenz scatter diagram, it explains what it all means, um, and your HRV data, the real seconds over time. I love this feature, I love the function. Uh, this is valuable information to me. Here's your continuous blood pressure measurement. I think I have this set to do every 30 minutes, I'm not sure, 750. Okay, every five minutes, I should probably turn that back to save battery life. Um, but I, I, this seems to be pretty credible. Um, I think it's fairly decent. Body temperature, again, this is in line with everything else I know. I usually run about 97.5, and this is right in line with that, okay? And then the blood glucose. This is what everybody is interested in. You can see your trace over time. I'm going to scroll back through the days just to let you see that you do not get the same graph every day. Um, but I don't think it's terribly accurate either. And, uh, you know, diabetics don't trust any of these non-invasive uh, blood glucose smartwatches. This technology is not there yet. Do not trust it. I cannot stress this enough. This is not a medical device. So my bottom line on this KS01 is for about 26 bucks is what, what I spent uh, on this on AliExpress. I think it's a really, really good health monitoring device. Take blood glucose measurements off the table. I don't trust it at all. I don't think it's real or accurate. It's not a medical device. Don't trust it. Diabetics, don't buy this watch for this function. But if you like everything else you see, you like that nice display, for 26 bucks, I definitely recommend this for the continuous heart rate, heart rate availability, and blood pressure. I think it's a solid Solid value. Just temper your expectations. Hey, you know what to do, folks. Like this video, share it, leave a comment. Um, this channel is about kayaking. I, I make high-end kayaks for competitive kayakers, but you know, I found I found a little niche here with doing smartwatch reviews. Most of these I pay for with my own money, and by my own money, I usually take the what little revenue I generate on YouTube and take those dollars and invest them right back into the channel, which is what I did with this watch. I bought it with that money, so I'm completely unbiased. I'm not doing any marketing for any of these companies. I call them as I see them. This watch is a solid value. Come check me out at DaveTheKayaker.com. And until next time, be healthy, be safe, and be fit. When you want an extraordinary racing kayak made in the finest American tradition, or maybe just own a piece of American kayaking history, you want a West Side Boat Shop kayak. Now available from DaveTheKayaker.com. Westside Boat Shop Kayaks. The tradition continues.